Hey friends, it's Chris Angel coming at you for another episode of Marketing for the Rest of Us. And uh, tonight we're, we're gonna talk about your offers and how you might be framing them uh, wrong uh, and what you can do to fix it so you can get more engagement, more response, more clients, etc. from how you're framing your offers. So as a coach, um, like I said before in a previous episode, over 90% of the people that I work with um, in my marketing agency and my marketing programs are coaches. If you're not a coach, that's okay. This still applies to you. Um, what I, as a coach, when I got started, what I started to do was build custom coaching. Um, uh, I felt like everybody was unique. Everybody was different. And I wanted to respect your differences. And I wanted to coach you to those differences. Um, and so as I was uh, coaching, what I ended up having was kind of like this very loosey goosey. I don't know how to explain to you what it is I do, but let me ask you some questions. And as we have conversation, um, it's easier for you to see if you want to work with me or not. So most of the time people would, would hire me as a coach because they felt seen, they felt understood. That was good. But it was hard on the front end of people understanding what I offered for, like it needed conversation. It needed a whole lot of, um, uh, backstory and detail to make a decision. And so uh, one of the things I, well, and my coaching also came from my, what I sold as coaching came as a response to the problems I saw in my industry. So I'm like, well, I don't like how this is done. I don't like it. That has, how that is done. And so I'm going to do what I think is better. And then that's what I coached people to, right? Now, Again, that was hard. It was that's a hard sell because what I saw and uh, that I didn't like was pop. It, it was popular. The thing I didn't like was actually popular in the industry, and what I proposed as a solution was actually not popular, and it was ahead of the curve. I feel like it was a. Uh, it, it wasn't popular yet. It, it's just now getting popular. But this was, you know, I started my coaching business about eight years ago. So at the time, people it didn't really get it. They weren't really bought into it. And so it again, it required a lot of explanation. So um, <clears throat> here's here's what I see now. As a coach who coaches, pe coaches a lot of times through marketing and with my marketing agency, what I see now is that a lot of coaches and businesses create either, they either have a lot of different programs or they have no programs. Right? Like in other words, there's, there's no program to it. It's just, well, let's talk and see if I can help you. And then that's it, right? Or they have a lot of programs and it confuses the person that um, is looking for help. So this is a problem, right? When, you, when you're not clear what your offer is, when you're not clear what the program is. This, by the way, this is why I like programs because programs bring clarity. Programs are like, this is what we're doing and uh, along the path. And so you can decide if this path is the path you want to take versus when you're like, well, everything's kind of custom and we'll just kind of figure it out as we go, which is kind of how I did it. It's so much harder. Not only is it harder for people to say yes to, but the, those who do say yes, at some point outgrow the looseness of it all because they want something more specific. They want a path. They want a path. So... Um, here's, here's what I've started to embrace with programs, right? Um, it's really important to have a clear offer, a clear offer, not a lot of, not a lot of offers, one clear offer. I see this is a big problem for people because you might have multiple services or programs or products, and then you try to like figure out, well, which one do you want? Which one's going to be the best fit for you? And that's sort of putting the decision-making over there with them. If you're the guide, if you're the leader, and you can map out what their problems are, it's your job to propose the program. So what is possible for you is to have a very clear offer, a very clear offer for your people. One offer, that is very clear, got it? And in that, you're able to now focus your marketing message to that one offer. See, if you don't have one offer, that is the first offer, then what happens is you try, you use your marketing to try to talk about all the different offers and it confuses people. So you want to plan the path 
for people working with you? What is the first thing, what's the first path or the first set of steps people are going to need to take to get where they want to go? And how can you help them down those steps? That's a path. And that should be in, in, encapsulated or contained in your program, okay? So the principle here is that you want to build your programs to bridge from where they're stuck to where they wanna go. Okay? If you can, this is how you map it. If you figure out where are they stuck, where are your people stuck, and where do they wanna go? And you will have your own proprietary steps or path or process to get from where they're stuck to where they wanna go. You should have. If you don't, then that's right, one of your first steps is you need to create that. You should have your own proprietary steps and opinions and, and uh, perspectives about how do you go from being stuck here to where you want to go. Your, the principle here is that your, your programs are the bridge from where they're stuck to where they want to go. Now, you, this is why you don't want to have multiple bridges. You confuse people when you have like, oh, we could get there this way or we could get there that way or we could get there this way. Like, which one do you want? Well, now they don't know how to pick. So figure out the best path from where they're stuck to where they want to go and build your program around it. Now that, that creates clarity. And once you have the, now watch, this is it's so interesting because once you have the program, the program informs the marketing most people kind of treat them separately like, hey, this is my marketing and I talk about the things I do and whatever and then I have a program and sometimes those don't match up. But if you can f reverse engineer the, the program based on where they're stuck and where they want to go and the steps you think they need to take to get there, now I've got the program. Okay, now all my marketing speaks to, helps you understand why this path is important to the conversation we're having in this video, right? So here, watch this, for example, for example, I have an eight week program called the Fetch, right? And in the Fetch, what we do is we actually begin to go to work on your offers, right? We actually talk, there's four Fs. We talk about how do you find your people? How do you find your ideal people? It's, you can't just go to a bunch of networking events. I mean, you can, but you're gonna, it's, it's highly inefficient. There are better ways to find your ideal people. How do you find them? Then how do you foster relationship with them? What most people, if you do find somebody, you, you don't have a good process or a system for how to nurture that relationship. By the way, most of your leads aren't now leads. So if they're not now leads and they don't buy today, but you did meet them today, how are you gonna stay in relationship with them in a way that's relevant and not like annoying? Right? You don't wanna be the person who's like, hey, hey, where are you at now? Hey, did you forget about me? Like what's you want to keep adding value to people. So we want to talk about how do we foster? That's the second step in your path, right? To creating the golden goose. Like ultimately in this eight week program, what I say is like the end, the end product of this eight week program is that you launch the program. That's how you graduate. The eight week program is you launch a program with paying students or paying participants. So by the end of eight weeks, you're actually making money back on your investment in the program. And the first thing we cover in that eight-week program is how do we find them? Second thing is how do we foster a relationship with them? Third thing is how do we funnel the, those interested, those, those wanting to go further? How do we funnel them into the things we, we have, the program we have to help them? There are certain things you need to do in the process of moving them from interested to buying. And then the last part is fulfillment. Like how do you structure the program in such a way that it fulfills on the promise, Right? so that it's easy for you, it's efficient for you, but it also delivers the result for them. And that's that eight week program, right? So you can see like, I've already mapped out for people like where they get stuck. Once you figure out your messaging, the next thing is, well, what do I do with this messaging? How do I create an offer? Well, that's what the eight week program does and it walks you through those four things. Now, if you're interested in the eight week program, right? To, to, I, I'm just, I'm giving, I'm straight up transparently giving you the program, I'm telling you, how I'm doing what I'm teaching you right now in this video. There's the eight week program, but before the eight week program, you have to go through the six week program because the six week program is all about how do you master your marketing message? How, and by the end, the six week program, you graduate the six week program by launching your own show or podcast into the world.
And the way that you launch it in the world is getting six weeks of repetition and practice and coaching and instruction from me on how do you find your truth and authentically speak from that truth so that you're consistent because most people in their marketing are consistent. So can you see how mastering your message and your marketing on the front end is important? Because if you don't have that, there is no finding, funnel, fostering, funneling, and fulfilling anything down here because you won't be consistent. You'll be invisible to those you're trying to serve because you're inconsistent in your marketing. So I just realized as I was mapping this out about you, last summer, as I was mapping this out, this was a huge aha for me because I saw, I saw that the program I was offering wasn't appropriate to where my people were. I was offering a marketing agency and most of my people weren't ready for that. They didn't even know what they wanted to say. They knew they had something to say, but they weren't consistent with it. They felt shy or bashful about video. So as much as I wanted to go into, hey, here's how you do marketing and here's all the stuff to grow programs and all that, like I couldn't even get to that because I needed them to get really confident in their truth so that when they showed up to do a video, they were feeling their inspiration and communicating with the people they're trying to serve the things that life has taught them. So as I thought, where are they stuck and where are they trying to go? The program became the bridge. And so I actually had like a bridge. The first bridge was the six week program called the Groundswell Method Intensive. The second bridge was the eight week program that works through your, uh, the four Fs, right? Getting to the launching of a program that pays you ongoingly. It's like a golden goose that however often your program is lays golden eggs, right? And then off, after that, finally, I could invite people to the agency because they'd actually appreciate what the agency did. They would realize there was a lot of background behind the scenes stuff that needed to get done and they, they didn't want to afford or pay for a full-time assistant and they could hire our agency at a fraction of the price to get the kind of support they needed in the marketing that fills their programs. But I had to create the bridges. There were one bridge, two bridge to get to the agency. Some of you have just gone out to the marketplace with your initial offer and you the, your people aren't ready for it. They can't even fathom what you're offering. Maybe it's the price point they can't fathom. They, they can't even get their head around what you charge. That was, the, that was true for me. My, my marketing agency was $1,000 to $2,000 a month. My people weren't ready to spend that kind of money where they were. Maybe it's that what you're offering isn't a fit, right? Again, the marketing agency, not just the price, but if, if the people don't know what to say, um, that's intimidating. Like, how am I going to have a, a podcast if I don't even know what I want to say? So I had to reverse engineer my programs based on where were they stuck and where they wanted to go. And that's the lesson for you tonight, right? Is where are, you, where are your people stuck? Where do they want to go now? Once you, you got to write those two things down. Where are they stuck? Where do they want to go? Then look at the gap between those two and be like, what do they need to get from here to there? That, friends, is your program. Some of you are so attached, like I was, to the thing you already offer that you can't see the gap from where they're stuck to where they want to go. Some of you need to throw your existing services and programs in the trash because they're not relevant to where your people are stuck and where they want to go. So humor me tonight or tomorrow, humor me in an exercise where what you do in the exercise is you just put your existing programs and services in the parking lot, put them in the hypothetical trash bin for a moment and start from scratch by outlining where are your people stuck, where do your people want to go. Now, once you have that, what's the gap? How do, what are the steps? What are the four steps to go from here to there? And those four steps become your program. Those four steps become your program. And see if, that, if those four steps are different than what you've already been selling. My, my hunch is that for many of you, that's going to be the case. Okay. Thanks for hanging out uh, with me here tonight. If you want to do the six-week program in order to get into the eight-week program, you can go to groundswellmethod.com. There's a free video there that explains the whole mindset around this type of marketing. Um, and on the last page is a button for an application into the six-week program. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me here. I'll see you tomorrow.